Hi there, this is Isaac Rover with Quality Computer Services in River Falls, Wisconsin. And what we're going to talk about in this tutorial is securing your wireless network. Now a lot of times folks will go to the store, they'll purchase the wireless router, they'll come back to their home or their office, they'll plug in all the cables, pull up the wireless network on their laptop, and it just works, so they'll le leave it alone. Um, they don't stop to think that if it was that easy for them to access their wireless network and get on the internet and do their stuff, that it's going to be that easy for somebody else who is within range of that wireless network. So we're going to uh, use our Linksys WRT54GS wireless router, and we're going to configure our wireless network to be secure. Now different models, uh, different wireless router models, D-Link, Netgear, uh, etc. They use different uh, software or different uh, web-based configuration systems to do configuration on their end. So we're going to recommend that you use your uh, product manual to figure out how that works. But again, we use a Linksys WRT54GS router here at Quality Computer Services. So we are going to log into that and get that, uh, get that configured. Now, you'll notice that our address is 192.168.100.1. Out of the box, they come with an address of 192.168.1.1. Uh, we have changed that to work with our network setup. But if you need to change that, uh, that is beyond the scope of this tutorial. If you need to change that, just post a question on our wall and we'll uh, answer it for you. So we're going to log in here and we'll look at the wireless settings. Now out of the box, the Linksys wireless routers all come with a default wireless network name of Linksys. So we are going to change that uh, temporarily, of course, for this tutorial. We will change that to my name. So we'll click on the save settings button now anybody that logs in or that uh, comes within range of this wireless network will be able to see on their laptop or wireless device the Isaac Rover wireless network and because we have not configured wireless uh, security at all on this network they're going to be able to connect without much effort at all and start using our office internet connection so we are going to click over on the wireless security tab. Now again, you'll notice out of the box, these devices come with the security mode as disabled. So a uh, side note on the different options that you see in front of you, uh, WP is the oldest wireless encryption standard, and that has been well documented that it is insecure. Anybody that knows what they're doing can break that uh, within a matter of minutes. So we do recommend that you don't use that. So uh, ultimately, we recommend that you use WA, WPA2 Personal. Uh, that does not require the use of a authentication server as the enterprise options do. So you can either go with WPA2 Personal or WPA Personal. Uh, given the choice between one or the other, use WPA2 Personal if uh, your wireless device supports it. So we'll go ahead and click on that. You'll see some options here. You can just leave them as is. Uh, TKI, TKIP plus AES is the strongest uh, algorithm you can use. So if your wireless device supports it, we do encourage you to use that. Now we have set the uh, pre-shared uh, passphrase, the pre-shared key, excuse me, as my passphrase. So we'll go ahead and use that uh, temporarily for this tutorial. And we'll click on Save Settings. Now, as far as securing your wireless network, you're done. Um, so now all you have to do on your laptop or your wireless device is connect up to the Isaac Grover wireless network. Uh, or the name of your network in your situation and you'll need to type in the pre-shared key also called the passphrase and that should do the trick so if you follow this tutorial for this particular router or your uh, particular router uh, with modifications of course based on your product manual and it uh, works then congratulations you have done a fantastic job of securing your wireless network again you're going to keep the average Joe off the street now out of your uh, personal network stuff. So, so congratulations. Once again, I am Isaac Rover with C 
Quality Computer Services in River Falls, Wisconsin. Thank you for being our Facebook fan page follower. And if you do have any questions on this topic or any other topic, feel free to post a question on our wall, and we will be happy to answer it. So thank you very much, and have a great day.